Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of this Cuisinart Coffee Center 2-in-1 coffee maker. It makes a pot of coffee on the left and brews a K-cup on the right. I purchased it off Amazon. It's normally $1.99, but they, if you look real close, they got a $50 coupon on it right now. So this makes this thing $150. The model number is SS-15P1. So when you order it from Amazon, this box, which is normally what you see at the store on the display shelf, comes in this box. So they ship it in a box in a box. So I'm going to have to cut these seals right here. Okay, so I've got the lid open. Looks like it comes with a really nice instruction book. We're going to set that off to the side. And I'm going to lay the unit on its side. And I should be able to just pull these out. They should just slide out of the box. Yeah, lay the unit on its side and it should slide out. It's kind of heavy, so be careful. You don't want to drop it. Okay, so those clamshells come off really easy. Be careful because this coffee maker is not, this coffee pot is not inside that plastic. So then we'll take off all this plastic. Okay, so first impression, this thing looks really nice. Looks like it's very well made. Um, this is not hinged. This is, I've seen Cuisinart do this before. That's not hinged. You just got to pop it off. It comes with a paper filter, a carbon filter, a scoop. It looks like a reusable um, filter for over here. Okay, so there's some tape I'm going to remove, and then there's some tape on the back here. Okay, so I've got everything out of the package. Like I said, it comes with some paper. These are number four cone filters. Looks like a coffee scoop. It comes with two carbon water filters. This is a reusable, this is a standard Cuisinart reusable uh, like K-cup. It's got a little filter and this is kind of the basket. It's got a big sticker down here. Real perfect pot. Controls, these are like switches. Feels really nice. This you just lift up. That exposes the the needles, the K-cup section. There's the top needle. Some buttons. We've got a big power switch here. On this side, we've got um, water reservoir. This is like a standard coffee maker. So there's the brew head. It does come with a Reusable cone filter. Looks really nice. Okay, it's got a big um, that's for the char that's where the charcoal filter goes. So we can filter our water. We want to run this under water first because it'll have some uh, carbon dust in it, but that's where it goes. And then there's a spot for it down there. So this looks, this is a brew basket, it's got like a handle. This is pretty standard for a um, Cuisinart. This is kind of their Cuisinart coffee maker. I recognize this a lot in their coffee makers. Kind of that big brew head that, that covers that. Feels really good. A lot of, it's plasticky, but a lot of metal. No cord storage. And the cord's just too prone. Looks like about two feet long. And then you've got a water reservoir on the back. So this is a little different. The lid is loose. It's got a little carrying handle. Now this also has a carbon water filter in the reservoir. So that's why they give you two carbon filters. And it sits Looks like you put it right there, and you got to kind of squish it in. And then this is this reservoir; you can take it out. It's got a nice little carrying handle, and it sits flat. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. So side to sides, about 11 inches. You know, front to back, about nine inches. So I, I get this question a lot: Will it fit under a standard kitchen cabinet? Unfortunately, no. The 
So it is only about 14 and a half inches tall, but with the lid open, man, you're up to about 22 inches. This side's not quite as bad. Almost 18 and a half. So the cake cup side almost fits under a kitchen cabinet, but not quite. Okay, so let's go over some dimensions in the front. So this is a 6 and 3 quarters travel mug. It fits fine underneath there. See how much that's all so so the drip tray it comes out you like lift it out it doesn't most drip trays kind of pull out and gives you more room but so you still got to put it in there like that let's try this bigger one so this one is eight inches and it won't fit Looks like about seven and a half. You know, the drip tray has got this cover. That's metal. That looks really nice. It's got a heavy plastic feeling to it other than the metal. So on the K-cup side, you've got six ounce, eight ounce, ten ounce. There's what the bottom looks like. And then... This, you just lift this up and it kind of snaps up. There's the top needle. This has got the standard basket, comes out. That's your needle basket. Be careful, that's a sharp needle down there. So that's all pretty standard. That snaps, two lights. Over here, you got like a bold hour and a minute. Clean, auto. These feel real nice. Brew. So the coffee pot feels real nice, other than it's not hinged. Um, you have to kind of, it just snaps on. So filling it up with water, you're probably going to want to take it off and then snap it on. This is a 12 cup coffee maker. This is a pretty standard coffee pot. The, um, this it does have a warming plate. So this is gonna keep your coffee warm. And it looks like, so that cafe, you can go low, medium, and high. You can adjust the temperature of how hot you wanna keep your coffee. So it looks like a really nice user manual. So Cuisinart does do pretty good instruction manuals. Register it. Quick reference, talks about the, the carbon water filter. It says immerse it in charcoal or immerse it in water for 15 minutes and then rinse it. Talks about this is that reusable K cup and you can put your own coffee grounds in. Now this, is, this takes standard K cups. Um, they can be made by Keurig, they can be made by Walmart, but any standard K-cup is what this takes. So over here, you're just going to put, so you're going to put your standard K-cup. And then you can do a full pot, if you can do a full 12 um, pot of coffee over on the left side. Now again, the instruction manual's got nice pictures, nice, nice clear instructions on how to set everything. Don't lose these instructions. Setting up. So we're going to do the initial cleaning in this video and then I'm going to do a detailed video on how to make coffee and all that. Very nice instruction manual. Three year warranty it says. And then it's got it in I think Spanish, maybe? I'm not sure. Very, very nice. Coffee Center SS15. I've been really excited about getting this. So these are not shown up used very much right now. Uh, I did see one pop up on Facebook Marketplace that didn't last long at all. Because this is, this is a, normally a $200 uh, coffee maker. 
I'm also going to be doing some comparison videos. I've got some um, Keurig K Duos, which have a coffee maker on one side and a K cup on the other. I'm going to be comparing it. I'll do a side by side comparison with uh, the Keurig K Duo. And Keurig makes, I think, three K Duos. So I'll be doing it, I'll be comparing it to all three. I'll be doing a uh, detailed video on how to make coffee, and I'll also be doing how to descale, how to descale both the coffee maker and the uh, K cup side. So let's look at the box real quick. They call it a two-in-one, two ways to brew, coffee pot, single serve. It's fully programmable, so you can probably program this to come on in the morning. Three serving sizes on the K-Cup side. Home barista, that's that reusable K-Cup. So it says it has an easy view water window. Yeah, we saw that. LCD, regular and bold setting, programmable, brew pause, 12 cup gold tone filter, removable 40 ounce filter, K-cup compatible. Okay, so we're going to check all those in my next video. Okay, so I plugged it in. It does have a really nice blue display. So this is the end of my unboxing video. I'm going to do another video where I set it up. That's how we run fresh water through it and kind of clean the charcoal filters. And then I'm going to do another video on how to brew coffee with it. Kind of a detailed review of, of how everything works. How to set the clock, how to set the program and everything. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.